seven immediately, right? Who is who else is excited for the Steam Deck? I'm kind of waiting for the uh, from some stuff to get uh, out in the wild, reviews wise. I'm excited as hell for the Steam Deck. What's going on, Int? How you doing? Cartel, I don't think it's a smart idea to go angler. Steve. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably go Windhawk. And I've got Mask to support me on 7. I don't think I want Nightmare. But I want a DPS that's Pierce. So I think I'm going to drop Buckler, pick up Serpent. And now I'm sitting in a posi position. Windhawk, Angler, Steed. I don't really want Steed and uh, Angler in this situation because I took Cartel and I need to be able to scale early. I got LOD for late. I think this is a fine setup. Angler I just don't like as much in this role. I have no way to shift for Angler to get upgraded. Right? The nerf on cartel felt significant. Um, I mean, what, it's three gold? Three income? It's not too crazy. That's fine, I'll take that. Ah, snail with me. Are you playing cartel snowbally? Um, snowbally, I think. I don't play Starby. I don't really ever play Starby, to be honest. 67%, that's fine. I'll just need a snail. Yeah, if he had snailed, he gets some good, but. Thanks for the follow, Int. Appreciate it. I do not go for Violet because I don't need to and I want five worker earlier. Again, I'm going for high income, high reward here. Doesn't mean it's necessarily the most but, uh, positive play. The Hunter didn't kill here, yeah. Could go three up or four up here. I don't know if the DT here is going to be enough to leak him. No, he resends and he gets him though. It's worked out okay. This extra worker push is a little scary by me, but we're going to try it. I'm actually not too far off value now, so that should be okay. Place it on the right side like that. Okay, I didn't get the the uh, uh, tempest. I was rerolling to see if I got tempest before I did anything too crazy. Go growl so we could get the slams. That wouldn't be terrible. But then do I? Hmm. I think I almost just rather have eternal wander in general. Then I just focus on the windhawks hits.
I mean, that's kind of the point. The idea was that I was going to utilize it as a mana hog um, outside of Violet, but it's not a big deal. They're leaking, so... Get your bets in now if you're going to want to bet. <laughs> Yikes. That's one of those things, like, unless you have a good answer for three, uh, two, three, going concert start is just sketchy, at best. Sketchy. And at worst, downlet right awful. We're in a downright awful scenario right now. Oh wow, I'm way over here. Let's go like this then, and we'll just add a split. Again, if we're going to play Cartel, I want to play Snowbally, right? He's income sending because he's scared and because they're leaking a lot early. <laughs> You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. That almost didn't hold. Oof. I thought the Hellraiser at 4 up would tank. Does it need to be 5 up? Is there a 10 plan? Serpents. I wouldn't have lost the game with that, but it would have hurt. That's for sure. Oh yeah, it's chilly. Very chilly. Uh, in uh, 4 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Which is... Negative 15 Celsius. I think it has to be 5 up for it to hit, but that's fine. Negative 15. Not not 15. Negative 15. <laughs> There's a difference there for sure. It's about 30 degrees there. Smart ass. I'd just rather do this here. I'd rather get some tank up front. Don't need to have it there, but uh, nice to have a tank. We're just going to triple brute. Nareen, I don't think this should be a problem, right? The Triple Brute should bust through any Oathbreaker or Sacred Seed setup he has, right? Obviously, all depends, but... Okay, so two Brutes on the right-hand side is perfect. We want to try to bust down the right as quick as possible, because that's where his Steeds are. One of the Brutes getting targeted already kind of stinks, but that's why we have three of them, right? Maybe the Oathbreaker hit one of them just a little quicker than the others. Yeah, same situation here. The Oathbreaker, I think, hit the one on the left. Okay, every single brute I sent got sniped. 
He's still leaking good. That's just really annoying. Nice, but not nice, exactly. Am I tantruming here or next? Here, so okay, I gotta prepare for next for a little bit. I just go, um... Uh, steed upgrade. Oh, this dude didn't even get a guy. This guy. I thought he was gonna get him. I don't know if it's influenced the sun sniping or not, but it seems like sun sniping is much more prevalent. I just can't tell. So this is a good example of they king up twice, I still push two workers off the 60. Same thing on six. Like I'm pushing two workers off those. Just because they're sending king ups doesn't stop me. When I'm already in the lead like this, and I've already got high income, I can just scale and snowball. And like in previous patches, this Hellraiser would have took, taken damage there. Yes. I'm surprised as well, to be honest with you. He's four off, three off the... Oh no. If you're stuck. Oh, he just sold it. Oh, I was saying like just upgrade it, but that works. Not enough material. Unfortunate the mimic got targeted by the Sky Queen here. I don't know if I get some still. Doesn't look like it. Small. I got six or eight gold, or six or nine gold from that, so I'll take it. Another wind talk here. Ten might snipe the Hellraiser, but that's what I want, realistically. I hope they send here because I can go venture. This is just an annoying early game build. It doesn't mean it's good. Thirteen, they should leak both pretty hard. I'm just going to go straight 13. Or do I Dark Ritual? They're 85. Okay. I might Dark Ritual, actually. I'm pretty low because I haven't gotten a send. 
I'm gonna save another. Okay, one of them dark patrolled. So I place another unit in the split. Give me a little bit more time in my split. This should be okay. There's my send. Wow. The Hellraiser didn't get targeted again. I think my teammate just crackens him. He does. Like, he, there's just nothing. It's definitely been a little wonky right now, Zirian, but... My teammate gets the sob, so like, I'm also fine doing 14. Fourteen it is. More horses? It's gonna be probably another, um, another steed, yeah. So I'm telling my teammate here to push a little bit, but also make sure he has the Sovereign upgrade because I'm going to need cover probably 13. Um, I just don't think there's a way I hold that easily. Because I obviously didn't get to go venture. I don't think it's screwy. I think it's more consistent in its own way. It's just we have to learn the differences, right? That's the biggest thing. Is it just takes time to learn why this thing, why is this different? What changed? How do we f how do we play it out now with the new setups? I like it because now I can have the Hellraiser up front and it never gets aggroed. Um, crack and pack later, maybe. Oh yeah, it's still definitely going to take time, and it's still definitely scary. I'm not claiming that it isn't. Um, and then... Now 
not saying you to tr not telling you to trust it right now. I'm just saying like there is differences now in how it, it pads. So there is it's supposed to pad better now than what it did. Not enough gold. Anybody watch the LCS yesterday? After I got off? I know I sent a couple of you guys to uh, to Medios. Um, yeah, Zerian, it's viable, but it's also not great. I do it more in classics and customs. You're better off doing other things. Dig win was definitely surprising. Uh, obviously, spoilers ahead. Um... But honestly, I was much more um, impressed with how well Core JJ and Han Sama played together, since they haven't played um, much, if at all, really together at this point in the game. For at least from what we know, as casual viewers. Core JJ is just solid. But honestly, Santorin looks really good. Santorin has looked really good. Like, there is there is a level of confidence coming out of Santorin right now that I didn't see last season when I watched him. Um, and it's just, it, it seems like it's, it's working better. In a positive way. Yeah, we're looking 17 now. How are you going to disrespect Core like that, saying he ain't one of the best supports in the West? Motherfucker was one of the best supports in uh, Korea. What changed? That he's on an NA team now? He said probably the best, and I would argue that you can make um, make the argument that Core is by far better than most Western supports. And Korea was a long time ago? Not really. <laughs> Core does too much because his teams around him have been pretty shit. I, if you can make that argument, I think there's times that Core does too much. And that's why it looks like he trolls, but he's by far still the best support. I think the only way you could argue that that core isn't the the best support is that you could like maybe argue some up and comer is, is is looking really good but in the in established meta I think it's just, I don't I don't see many other players that are better I've ob I don't obviously play myself but um, I watch a lot of LEC L LCS time to usually stream about this time of day almost every every day int um it's usually sometime around um noon central standard time here in the u.s um and then that i go for a couple hours um until i usually burn out how long that is how it depends on the day but
whole wave alive, pack mole dead every time, yep. We got 19 now. What's going on, Pablo? How you doing, man? Yeah, the new the new setup it's definitely harder to send. I don't know what I gotta do differently now at this point. I I don't honestly have any idea what to do differently. was meant to be last wave, I think. Oathbreaker spam, interesting. My teammate can. Shaman Ram is really nice, but he doesn't have to get it. The problem is that, like, the now, like, the, ra the non ranged mercenaries tend to just get themselves killed. And I don't know why that is, but that seems to be the case. Get it, go that. The Hellraiser here not getting aggro is like super good for me, but also like really weird. I'll take it though. Fucking not even leaking, boys. Let's go. Victory. Ooh. I think Coiler's really strong right now, yeah. Coil with the new pathing and new targeting, Coilers don't get aggroed. So, like, previous patch, all of these Coilers would have died before any of this died. I swear to God. One or two of these units would have died and all the coilers would be dead. <laughs> so like right now it feels good because coilers actually are doing what they're supposed to. They're not getting aggro, they're sitting in the back line, they're just damaging. Um, I was able to, with that wave, kill a majority of the wave just using coilers um, and not actually having an, too much of an issue. Castle. I really don't like castle, to be honest. I think it's just not my play style. Um, but I can do it for reg. I just don't like it. I just feel like you're just behind way too much. But I also might have just had a bad roll that game and and, and been blaming it on Castle. That was also one of the games where Wonder was struggling and I kind of felt inting all over the place. And so. That was just a not great game in general. So. We'll take that win though. Um, that's going to be a stream marker. I'm definitely going to add that to... Um, 